Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True Dad, and welcome to The Slater. Now, this one, uh, it's a bit of a mystery to me. You see, from reading the Steam page, I would work under the assumption that The Slater is a stealth game. And stealth games, I like stealth games. But stealth games, for me, are about, okay, so I'm going to sneak through the shadows and avoid all the guards and, you know, avoid confrontation and kill as few people as possible. And the perfect scenario is, you know, you do an absolute pacifist drum. Now, not to judge a book by its cover or anything, but just looking at this game and, you know, the setting in the background of the intro screen there and this protagonist, I don't feel like this is a guy who's looking to achieve the pacifist solution. I feel like this is a guy, in fact, who might just be some form of renegade alcoholic cop whose wife and daughter have been murdered and who is about to begin a campaign of bloody vengeance. Oh, I'm feeling like my prediction was pretty much spot on here. The police still believe that the murder of DEA agent Ben Slater is related to D-Pain. Okay, turns out it was my son that was murdered, but you know, I was most of the way there. Police say they have also found two D-Pain drug dealers dead very lately, but also have no suspects on that case. Some believe it is other drug cartels. Others believe someone has taken the law into their own hands and that they're cleaning the streets. And on this occasion, my campaign of bloody vengeance is being waged against peddlers of a new dangerous drug. Lovely. Oh, so here's fascinating. The setup's actually a lot more like slightly old classic Hitman territory. So I've actually got myself a big old map right here. Ooh. I approve of this. In fact, yeah, in classic Hitman style, we've even actually got ourselves the actual, yeah, the targets highlighted in red. So two actual key targets need to be taken down. We got ourselves the ink and Big D, together with a briefcase. Ah, points of interest actually highlighted in little question marks. So okay, it's very Hitman 2-ish. I approve, Hitman 2 was amazing. Interestingly, there is a small second floor, but it feels like there's very little up there. Okay, I'm gonna guess you might have, well, I don't know there's a disguise. At this point, I'm just assuming there's going to be interesting disguises because it just feels like that sort of game. Right, backing up my theory that's on Alcoholic X Cup, by the way, when I walk, I walk like this, so I don't just head bob, I also kind of sway side to side like I'm drunk under all circumstances, and uh, unfortunately I've checked the settings, uh, I can't turn that off. So, probably time to actually go down, yep, let's run, oh it's, okay, it's slightly more manageable when I'm running, let's just run in general. So I'm not allowed to enter the bar, guards raise an alarm, open aggressive fire as opposed to, you know, that pacifist fire, and hunt you down if you don't obey them, find another way in. Okay, I'm guessing if I just try and approach you. Wait a second. Are you the same guy, just a slightly different colour? So, I think I did actually see on the map that there was another way in, potentially. Here we go. Sideway right here. Just check where... Oh. Hello. There's a guy right here. Right. You're marked as civilian. Enemies can carry useful items and be killed when isolated. If a dead body is found, guards raise the alarm. Um, to hide bodies. Yeah, but... He's a civilian. He's... He's marked in white, not yellow. Like, he's marked... Okay. I guess we're just going to take care of him then. Is there a sneak or do we just go up to you? Hello. I guess we're just going to choke you to, to death. Right, so. Stealth, but the sort of stealth where we do murder everybody. So, yes, it's kind of um a little bit like it's uh, Hitman Blood Money. Insofar as you pick up bodies and you actually like auto-hide them inside dumps and whatever. Can I move this guy? Because if I can't move this guy, then... Well, then what was the point of hiding that corpse, then? Now, find an entrance to the building. Can't help but notice that we've got ourselves a ladder right over here. Yep. Yeah. Climb up that if you'd be so kind. Ah, this would be what that very quiet second floor was for if I had to guess. So run and jump. Well, that strikes me as eminently reasonable. And then we've got ourselves. Aha. There we flipping go. Move that there. Great. And into the building we go. Marvellous. And, uh, yeah, as I would have thought. Ah, a man who is urinating literally forever. Marvellous. Now, oh, this is a nice system. So I've got my handgun permanently actually set, but I only actually pull it out when I'm actually holding down... Yeah, right mouse. Okay, that's a nice little system. So what we need to do is just come up vaguely behind this guy. I mean, I feel like I could choke him, to be honest, but... Okay, I'm happy to just kind of shoot him too. Slow mo action shot. Blimey, me, that's, that's a lot of blood. It's quite a lot of blood. Right, so probably we take his clothes. 
and then we lift his body, and then we shove him somewhere where people aren't gonna find him. Oh, inside this, like, cupboard. Excellent. So, this brings us upstairs, and there's the guy we saw on the map earlier. So, that is Lex the Ink, and that is the briefcase that we want. Some guy is just performing a little song. Most of these guys are all civilians, but guards actually guarding the doors, and this guy right here. This door, however, does not seem to be guarded. So, that is probably the way we want to go, unless, of course, through here, there's some form of special disguise. Yeah, if I could get behind this guy. Okay, options, sure. And there we go, that's the door right there, and that looks like a key card reader. I'm supposed to be following this guy, so I guess I'll do just that. Right now, I'm disguised appropriately, because I did actually take a gang member's jacket, so... Ah, that just makes me a civilian who's allowed in here, because I'm part of the gang. I'm not technically part of the security. So follow you, round over here, and you are going through a door I cannot follow. I'm going to guess you're going to say, yep, yeah, there we go, find another way in, restricted area, lovely. And at this point, the game's done holding my hand, I just have to find my own way in. Now, we got ourselves a door right here. This door is marked in green, but there's also, ah, key card. Door is locked, find another way in. Fine, so I need to get myself a key card. So all these doors are key card locked. Now, can't help but notice, yes, the guy I actually noted earlier, around over here. We got ourselves one open door right down here into a little storeroom. Now, the game isn't flashing red, and typically, yeah, the map flashes red when you're in an area you're not supposed to be in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for, oh, hide body. No, don't hide body, but do... Hide around at the back here. I think there's a guy that comes in here and then, aha. You, my good man, are going to... Do you not see me? I think you don't see me or you just don't care about the man who's crouching back here. I'm going to be honest. I thought you actually went over... Over there. Oh, oh, oh hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to... I need to... I need to throttle you. Choke you. Anyone going to see this? Quickly, probably just grab the body if you'd be so kind. Yep, just grab that body. Let's get him out of here. Right, he's been choked. That's fine. So here we go. Get the key code. And now, get the actual uniform. So now, I'm staff. So that feels much better to me. So get this. And now shove you in here. Lovely. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting hybrid halfway between Hitman 2 with some of the like quality of life improvements from Hitman Blood Money and without some of the real restrictions on how fast you can move and sneak and whatever from Hitman 2. So yeah, this is nice because I love Hitman 2. It's a classic, but Hitman Blood Money unquestionably did introduce some nice quality of life improvements. So kind of nice that that's now an option. Now I don't want to get too close to the other members of staff because potentially they might actually see through the disguise. Though there doesn't seem to be any form of actual, you know, meter for that sort of thing. Use the key card. Nice. And in we go. So now we're in the backstage area. Lovely. Check the map. Just make sure you always know where you are. So potentially there's someone over here, but there's also something of interest over here. Fine. Probably the most sensible thing we can do is, one, check around for weapons that we can use to improvise with, knives, etc. Don't see anything. So in which case, here we go. Don't worry, guys. I know what's going on. I've played Hitman before. I know what we're doing now. So this guy appears to be on his own. Now, I think that guy was like the super hardcore drug addict. So possibly, right now, he's doing some drugs. Right, check the lockers for alternative disguises. And... Ah! Okay, so there might have actually been another way to get into uh, this back area that I had not yet found. So, it looks like if I just loop round here and just stay out of the way of you. Now, thing of interest is supposedly over here. What do we have up here? All employees, access code to warehouse has changed. New code, 144. Alright, grab that right there. I'm going to guess that by any chance this might be... There we go. All nice and simple so far, but this is just, you know, like the introductory bit. One, four, four. Okay. And now, he is all on his own. Now, this is a restricted area. So, I've got to be a little bit on the, you know, not running, not spotted side here. But he's actually been holding still in here for some time. I'm guessing I can just get behind him and give him a damn good throttle. So, there's an area up here. Stairs going right down. Yeah, if I just, you know, go nice and slow... I think people don't hear you at normal walking speed. So I should just be able to walk up behind him and then just choke him out 
and life will be good. Let's just check if that's actually true. And indeed, he goes straight down. Fine. So people do not actually overhear you if you're walking. Creeping is literally just for sneaking through vents and whatever. Fine. Probably we want to actually grab you and hide you. Ah, extremely convenient cupboards. Okay, this is good. This I like. It's all very hitman-y. Fine, this is just like the tutorial level. But even then, it's not exactly holding your hand. It is just giving you vague hints like, hey, use the map to locate someone. Is that actually a... No, that's a credit card. I can't actually use it to open doors or anything. Fine. Now, obviously, we don't go out the front way he probably came in because that would be where his actual guards are. Instead, we need to locate the other chappy. All right, back to the map here. So I'm here right now. Bunch of guards. Guards, guards. So, are waiters allowed to bypass this guy? Probably not. If it's safe for me to walk along this corridor, just straight past this guy, then probably the best thing I can do is come down here, through here, and then, ooh. Then these guys will see me. Okay. How else are we going to do that? If I'm allowed to walk through this door, past these two guards, that'd be the best. But I'm assuming that's not allowed. Fine. Let's just give it a go. Go down the corridor and see whether people do or don't object to me. Also, does my key card? No. My key card doesn't work on that door. So that door is locked. All right, if I step round the corner here, then we're going to, oh blimey. Okay, we're going to the strip club because of course we are. Honestly, it's more of a 15 rated burlesque show, but just in case we're gonna hedgehog this up a little bit here. Ah, but there's the thing. Off to the side of the actual stage of the strip show, there's a door that no one seems to be watching. I might be allowed in there. Point of interest. Aha! I could disguise myself as a stripper. Ah, this old classic. The utility box. So yeah, a real classic of blood money right here. Break myself some fuses, draw some attention, and then kill the person when he shows up. So that is all fine. He's going to take a little bit of time to sort that out. And choke you. Lovely. Now we just need to get your security outfit and then we should be able to go where we want. Including, ah, security key card. So boom, boom, and hide. So I am now bar security. And I'm assuming that means me and you are cool, right? Okay. Yep. We are now cool. Probably should keep my distance regardless because there's a possibility, you know, head of security or something might be able to see through this disguise. Fine. Now, how do you feel about me going into this room? Because I'm going to guess you don't feel... No, that's fine. Not in there. That's okay. Saw another door around here. Better and flipping better. So, into the back here and... Hello. We got ourselves... Ah, this is just a little event. And we can also have ourselves a gun if I want some ammo. So, wait for him to be alone. Then we can just take him out. Okay, probably best we close the door. Just in case I'm about to actually fire a gun. So, his guest decides to just have a little wander off. I've already got the briefcase. So he's alone. And I can... Ah! I can just shoot him through the window. I'm guessing this is like one of those two-way mirrors or whatever. He goes down. That was a silenced gun. Now, probably, I just want to naff off at this point before anyone realises what's going on. But first, if I actually... Oh, bullet resistance glass. Fin secure. So sadly, yeah, I cannot actually cause the aquarium to empty out. Which is good, because I like aquariums, so that's fine, I guess. Now, logically, I should just be able to walk straight out. There's no reason anyone would stop me or challenge me. Because you know what? I'm cool. I'm just a member of security. There's been no alerts. No one should realise anything's wrong. Assuming, of course, that no one's found... Yeah, no one's found the actual guy up here either. Ah, yes, and just testing this as well. It feels like, just like in, say... Uh... Oh, hang on this by the way oh security key card in case you missed one earlier lovely so yeah it looks like just like uh, in blood money as long as you're actually wearing the right disguise it's perfectly okay for you to actually run in front of guards they don't have hitman two level suspicion of anyone who's actually running around so that's all fine in which case we should be able to just go straight out the front door back to the car lovely all right next mission and first proper mission if you will because clearly that was just you know training where it was telling you what to do and I like this, it seems to be rather like a new life in Hitman Blood Money. Because what we've got is, yes, a house that needs to be infiltrated, but there's the rest of the street, and there's other houses across the way too. So this mansion has got two people in it. So we've got Richard Keller and Catherine Keller. 
And we've got a mansion here, which has got first floor, gate right here, two guards and a security camera, more security cameras around the outskirts, guards everywhere, but they are also hosting a party. So I might be able to just talk my way in with an invitation, fine. There's an upstairs too, and a basement. Now there has been mention of documents in a safe room. So I need to get a safe room, the access code for which is actually on Catherine's wedding ring. So uh, presumably she's wearing that. Hints actually inside the actual character profiles, if she's had too many glasses of wine, she likes being the centre of attention. Potentially poisoning a wine glass could be a good way of dealing with her. Richard Keller, meanwhile, yes, who has some dark secrets in his life, he doesn't want the public to know. So we might be able to find something hidden in this mansion that tells a little bit more about this guy. They both need to die, we need to get her wedding ring in order to access a safe room, but we don't know where the safe room is yet either, in order to get the documents, and then leave. And there's now security cameras. Oh, game. I'm liking you already. So here we go. Security camera and guards right here. Let's just do a quick skirt around the perimeter. Fine, road close. Obviously, we can't go past that. Didn't look on the map like there was any other way to get in other than straight through the front door. Now, actually, there is a gate right there. There is a gate there. By any chance, could that be... Okay. There's also Mike's catering in... Weirdly inverted, but okay. Is that also inverted? Right, so he's... He's written in... Oh! Right, I assume they just basically did this side of the van and then just mirrored it. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, right, can I get in here? No, I don't see a way to actually clamber over this gate. But it looks like there might be a caterer floating around. Now, by any chance are you who's coming out right now? You are officially marked as a guard because you're in yellow. So I'm guessing you're private security. The question is, what can we do with Mike's catering? Because, yeah, in case you don't actually remember in detail, a new life literally begins with you down that side of the street, the house on your left as you arrive, as this house is, and then a van parked outside, albeit it's the van of a clown in this position, and there's also a catering van over there. That's actually my van on this occasion. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if it's a bit of an intentional throwback. It's fascinating. Now, this house, I can go and say hello to. There are people floating around here. And I tell you what. I saw on the map, there's two people around the corner. If those are actually um, guys in like a dustbin lorry or something, then I'm gonna know it's all intentional. <laughs> because, hang on, you've got yourself... Tom, are we going no! To what? Guests. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you later. Right, it's two drunk guests. Well, that's just flipping perfect. So, he's gonna go and like be sick in a bush. She is going to go to the party. And that means it's time for me to just... Ooh, hide a body. Well, that's just flipping perfect. Are you wandering away? I'm just going to let her go around the corner. Right, you, my good man. Unfortunately, there's no way to take you down without killing you. So you just have to die. So, party invitation. And I'll have your clothes. And we'll put you in the back of the... I don't know, white van you decided to come to this party in, I suppose. Right, so now I've got myself an actual invitation to the party. However, I'd like to see what's going on in this house over the street first. So can't help but notice that on the map, yeah, there is actually clearly flagged here something going on in this house. So I want to see what that is and gate locked from this side. Okay, hang on. No, no, you're not getting rid of me that easy. I want to know what the hell's going on here. And we've got ourselves, aha. Side gate. Is this also locked from this side? Ah, but... Little trellis thing here. Alright. Climb up to the top of the neighbour's house. And now I should be able to just jump straight over. Ah, okay. Now, watch out for those guys. Make sure they don't see me. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, check the map here. Check the map on first floor. No one's anywhere close to me. So go, 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 go. Jump over. Right, this is technically a restricted area. If she sees me around here, she will freak out. It looks, however, like I think she only actually ever goes from one side of this house to the... Okay. Yeah, she just basically goes to this little back room and then she goes and waters the garden. So now I've got a moment to... Ah, this is just a bathroom. 
with a is that a Heidi closet? I would assume that's a Heidi closet. Fine. So probably the best thing I can do is hang on. Right, that guy's asleep. Okay. Best thing I can do now is wait for her to come back and then we just throttle her. Because there doesn't seem to be any reward for doing this silent assassin. I've already killed one guy and it's impossible to knock someone unconscious without killing them. And ooh, is that a nice lasagna? Ooh, I'll have some lasagna while I'm waiting. I love a lasagna. Right, so she returns to her house and now walks into the bathroom and just faces the mirror for a bit. The mirror doesn't actually do anything, so luckily she doesn't see anyone coming up behind her. Now, why can I come in your house exactly? Okay, I didn't actually need to kill her, but that that's fine. There's gotta be there's gotta be something in here. Because in the house over the street in a new life, there's like some special drugs that are really useful. Like you load them into like the air rifle and it's used to like knock the dog unconscious or whatever. So there's gotta be something in here. That or I've just come in here and started murdering people for no reason. Ah! That's what I needed. There was an invitation right here on the table. So I didn't actually need to kill that per- Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's actually do this again. Because now I feel bad about the fact that she's dead. And he's dead. And also, like, you know, to avoid this guy waking up and finding his dead wife inside the bathroom, which would be very traumatic. He's actually dead as well. So let's make sure none of that actually happens. Because, okay, I like the way this game thinks. This game gives you actual pacifist solutions, despite the fact that you're an alcoholic ex-cop on a mission of bloody vengeance. Alright, so, start. Head straight over to the neighbor's house, climb up onto the top of their house, and jump into the back of this house, and grab myself an invitation. Now, the downside is, I won't be dressed appropriately. So, I might need to find some clothes in this house too, potentially. I'm not sure, because right now I'm wearing, yeah, the basic leather jacket. It always says what disguise you're wearing. Now, that might not be dress Cody for this particular party. So, yeah, she's now walking in. So, just like in Hitman, the level keeps working even when you're not there. He's presumably vomiting over there and will probably stay there if I had to guess. Are you okay with me being let in? Is this cool? I've got the invite. Good evening. Yeah? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's all lovely then. So, party entrance over here. But, other areas I could go through too. So I could actually get myself right now, just through the door here, but then I'll be in a restricted area. I need to get myself some security at some point. Now, I did see one security guard in this sort of area at some point, so it's probably this guy who patrols. But there might not be a good place to hide him. Also, who are you? Let's just find out. Let's just do a quick test here. This isn't being marked as restricted. And this guy's, aha. We got ourselves... A waiter around here. This is interesting. Okay, so you're a waiter or a server or whatever. And then we've got around here, key code. Don't know what's actually going on the key code. Okay, now you are probably an excellent person to get down. What's actually going on in here? This is just... Ah, this might be a house they've set up for where the private security that live on site are because it's a bunch of single beds and looks like a suit over there. Okay. That could be of interest, so let's just actually, you know, explore as a civilian before we start choking people. Because I don't want to choke people if I don't actually have to. Sure, we could choke that guy and hide the body, but... Now I kind of do want to do this pacifist. I want to have a lovely pacifist bloody revenge slaughter session. Alright, back around to the front. And let's actually head around to where the actual game says the party is. So you're a security guard. That's fine. Ignore the door. Follow the signs, follow the lights, and we'll probably meet up with Catherine. And, ooh, this is nice. Lovely little swimming pool here. Nice lighting. Can I go for a swim? And the answer is no, boo. Right. Lots of, oh, no. Literally everybody came in one of two dresses. Well, now everybody has to go home and change. And several of them have the same face, too. This is slightly terrifying. And that woman's drinking when she's not even holding a wine glass. Also, there's a bit of a gender imbalance with this party. So yeah, in terms of just the guests who are standing back here, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven women, eight women, and then, yeah, in terms of the guys, one, two, and three. Okay, that's a bit of an imbalance, though I wonder if that's intentional. It was implied that, yeah, Richard has uh, some form of dark sadistic secrets. 
could have invited a whole bunch of women for an actual reason. Can Interesting. Can not actually interact with you or any of these drinks at all? No, doesn't look like it. Now, I did see Catherine in here at one point. Go over to the map. I think that's her on our way now. So, let's see if she's got anything interesting to say at the minute. There we go. There's Catherine. So, Catherine, what do you do when you're hanging out with your party guests? Ah, she just basically stands on a stage and does terrible karaoke. Richard, however, decides to go back to his room at that point. And I'm assuming I'm not allowed in, right? Well, you're not saying no. Am I allowed in? I mean, okay. This apparently seems to be cool. This is a fine place for me to be. So this is this is okay for the time being. Ah, I'm allowed a bit inside, but not upstairs. So he is now standing on... Yeah, he's standing on what looks like to be a balcony overlooking the back of the house at the minute. So I might actually be able to see him from... Hang on. If I just loop around here, I might be able to see him around here. Possibly he was there a second ago. He might have... Yeah, I think he's just moved on. Yes, he's just moved on. So now, he's going over here. Now, there's an elevator marked there. Elevator which appears to go down to the basement. Okay. Logically, that would be a way of him getting down to where the safe room is. So this seems like an excellent opportunity to potentially get him down if I could just get a security outfit. Fine. So he's alone in there. Now, question is... When is she alone? And where does she go next? So, she's no longer singing. That is... Actually, she's up on the second floor right now, too. And, oh! She's just taken one of the security guards into what might well be a bedroom. Right. By any chance, is there some sort of affair going on here? Because that will be very hitman as well. Okay. Probably what I need yeah, to do okay. next up is... Can I just open this door? I can just open this door. Hang on. Just just run in here nice and quick. Okay, this is fine. I've got... Ooh. I can start a lawnmower. Okay. That's probably a good way of getting some attention right there. Lovely. But before we do that... Okay, just keep exploring. Okay, the key to doing Hitman well is to explore, understand the level. Now, you just walk away and, yeah, don't see me. This area is... I think downstairs is okay. I think guests are just allowed to wander downstairs as much as they want. Because it's not being flagged as a secret area at all. Any chance I can, can't turn on the car to get some attention. And I also think I forgot to bring a gun. When I restarted, I forgot to set a gun. So I'm doing all of this with my bare flipping hands. And, oh, rat poison. Well... That would certainly be an interesting way of doing the whole spiking the drink business that I was talking about earlier. Yes. Ah, here we go. Catherine's wine. So I've got the rat poison. This here is Catherine's wine glass. Excellent. So we've got a nice easy solution for Catherine. But I don't want to kill her just yet because now I'm just curious about... That's the same lasagna. Everyone loves lasagna around here. That's marvellous. I love lasagna. Ah, wait a second. This looks like... No, boo. Sadly, I can't climb that particular trellis. Some of them you can climb, some of them you cannot. Now, you, my good man, are a waiter, aren't you? And you're going to go and be around here by yourself. Okay, let's just start taking a few people out because I'd like to explore and potentially taking a few people out will be a good way to actually do it and discover what's going on here. So you, my good man, check the map. Looks like we are... No, no, he's going to actually get closer to the actual thing first. Because, yeah, there's a box right there. So, I think we're in a good time to just basically finish you off. Okay. So, he gets choked. I'm very sorry. I didn't want to do this. But I'm also kind of curious what happens if I do. And what actually, you know, becomes available. So, grab his clothes. Lift his body. Now, let's see where I'm allowed to go as staff. So, in here... Hide body. Because if staff are only allowed on the first floor, then what exactly is the point of staff? Are you still going to be fussy with me? No. They're cool with me going upstairs as staff. Good. Staff are allowed up to the second floor. In which case, what's the point of security? Oh, and what are you doing up here? What do you do? And does anyone come and join her? Because I've seen someone come and join you in here, and this is definitely a bedroom. Okay. And out she comes. Fine. So she just occasionally comes upstairs. 
and just does her hair or whatever. So I need to get upstairs to deal with that. Possibly it was just coincidence. They came in at the same time. And now this guy. Ah, I'm guessing I'm not going to be allowed into... No, that's restricted. Fine. So that's his private area. Definitely can't do anything in there. So staff are allowed in this half of the second floor. Only security in this half of the first. Now security is not too difficult to get hold of. Because I'm pretty sure that lawnmower, if I turn that on, that'll draw a security guy that I can get the outfit off right there. Nothing too complicated yet. And what is this over here? This is... Ah! Security office. Now, inside the security office, we've got ourselves... Ah! Sabotage security. Well, you don't seem to be looking right now. Alright. There we go. So now, cameras no longer operating. Spot on. And, more importantly, that is... Ooh! If you plan to use the living barracks, access code 824. Now, I wonder if that's randomised. Also, ooh, browse security cameras. Oh, they've already been destroyed! <laughs> Right, so inside the office, I can actually use the cameras or actually destroy them. So, 824. I wonder if that's randomised or if I could actually, now I know that code, I could manually enter it. Interesting. Right, well, time to go and check out the barracks because I'm pretty sure I saw a suit hanging up. Though actually, the suit wasn't how the actual guards are dressed. The guards are all dressed in this yellow outfit. So, I'm not sure. Right, barracks. 824. I'm allowed in here. There is a bodyguard suit. Nice. Ah, wait. There's a difference between just patrolling security and bodyguard security. Right. So that makes a bit of sense at least. Definitely want to be going over to that. So now I am a bodyguard and presumably can access all areas spot on. All right. We're cool. So that means that time to go and check out what is going on. Ooh, locked. Okay. Interesting. Everything good? Am I allowed in his? Yeah, okay, fine. I am allowed into his private office. I'm a bodyguard. That's cool. So round here. Now we know this guy is supposed to have a terrible secret. What is the secret? Well, security cameras. Okay. He's nowhere near me right now. What is any of this? Top secret, confidential, but nothing I can pick up. Now we've also got ourselves. Ah. Security. But we know where that is. The code for that is on her wedding ring. Though I can't help but notice. We got ourselves a window here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Window. This opens up all sorts of interesting possibilities. So I can actually sneak into the back area. Okay. Hang on. There's... There was a ladder here. Well, that's bloody convenient. Yes. So, okay. Ooh. Now this starts to get me into Sue Tony Silent Assassin stuff. If I could just actually infiltrate the compound, I could just sneak round here and then get into the back area like this. Okay. This is all very, very interesting. Okay, time for an important moment just based on who's standing where. Needs to poison the wine. This looks like this is a decent time to do it. There we go. So, her wine has now been poisoned. Now, I'm going to guess that what she's going to do is a bit of a new hitman where she actually drinks the wine, starts choking, runs to a bathroom, and conveniently dies there. Here we go. She's done with her horrible, horrible singing. Now, is she going to take a sip of the wine on her way past? And if she does, does she go and die in a very convenient spot? Take a sip, rat poison in the wine... And yes, abso flipping lootly. She's going to make a run for a bathroom or something. Or maybe I need to finish her off. I might need to finish her off. Do I need to finish her off? Was this a deadly dose of rat poison or just the vomity dose of rat poison? Okay, just in case, I'm just going to take her down now. Lovely. And there is uh, the wedding ring. Nice. So it would have been easy to actually throttle her in the bedroom too. But, yeah, maybe a little bit more dangerous because there's more guards patrolling in that area. Guards do not seem to patrol in this area at all. And we've also got, yeah, the numbers at 742 on the ring. Spot on. Now, just to follow this guy and hey see man, if we can learn okay, anything good. more about him. Yeah, it's Richard. Our test subjects have become mentally unstable and aggressive. Now, they're going to die in two days unless you want me to kill them right away. All right. I'll be in touch. 
private gang meeting to Right, just about the main drug plot. And you, my good man, can just be taken out nice and quick. Now, while you're on your own, the choke is, yeah, you don't have to be behind them, you just need to literally just click the thing. So, grab the ammo, you apparently had a gun on you. And I'm pretty sure that's a cupboard over there. No one look through this window, please. Right, 742. That gets me access to the secret elevator, which because the other door is locked, this is the only way to get down to the basements. So, this gets me to... Well, actually, I'm not exactly sure where the... Oh. Apparently, not even bodyguards are supposed to be dead. Oh, blimey heck. So, his basement is straight up a den where he's keeping people in prison testing drugs on them marvelous so that's going to be the way out over there this is an area i am not supposed to be in right now bodyguards are not supposed to be allowed here so the question is yeah who exactly oh don't let basement guards see you obtain their clothes okay i'm gonna guess any of the people in white they're going to be people who are in prison they're going to be the prisoners now, there is also, yeah, a way straight up over here that lets me get back out by unlocking this door. Now, ah, no, that door's locked too. Okay. Now, there's also another window to be cracked open over here. Fascinating. So, where does this get me that I might be able to... Ah! Okay. So, you can bypass the elevator entirely. Instead, there's actually, yeah, windows that can be opened from this room, which I think is, yeah, just off the second floor. And that's already open. Okay. Now this. This is all very fascinating, and from the bathroom as well. So, you don't actually need to bother using the secret elevator. You can bypass that, so you don't need to bother getting the ring off her. Now, let's just have a quick explore, and that is, yeah, that's just another person. In prison. The only people we need to worry about are the people in yellow. Now, if there happens to be, that'll be animal testing as well. Oh. Right. You, my good man, can just go straight down. So you are the the guards for this area down here, I'm going to assume. So quickly, change clothes. Round here, round here, round here. Now, where's the secret room? Is it by any chance over here? Yes. Okay. Now, is it the same code as... Yeah, same code as on the ring. So, you do need the ring to access the secret room. There's the documents. Boom. Now, the only downside to... Yeah, the signed assassin is... Sooner or later, you need to go into this room. And that guy will see you. And these two guys don't move. Unless... There is actually a utility box right here. And that brings... That draws that guy's attention. Rather than actually using that to try and uh, draw that guy away for his disguise, you could just pull him away. Because then, when you're around here, this area is temporarily safe. You can just walk in, grab the documents, and run straight back out again. Though your time window is really limited, so that might not work. But, it's possible. Alright, I've been playing too much Hitman in my life, clearly, because I'm already trying to scope out how to do this Silent Assassin no kills. Right, and as we've discussed already, just jump up here, crawl out through here, and then we can head basically straight off the roof. So, okay, the way to do this optimally is, assuming the codes aren't shuffled, you come in here, you head straight to the guard barracks, you pick up the actual, uh, yeah, the actual guard disguise, because that gets you upstairs. You just get the rat poison, you poison her wine, she runs to the bathroom, she's dead. Great, nice and simple. You might need to choke her, you might need not to. Then you can just basically walk upstairs and then actually finish him off in his study. Actually, the windows are unnecessary in that regard, because then you can just use the code to take the elevator. You don't actually really need the actual back way. But what if you want to do this suit only? So we now know there's this ladder right here. This ladder gets you up onto the second floor into the bathroom attached to his private office. That does not get you access to the stairwell, though, or any of the... Oh, wait, hang on. Yes, it does. Okay, you arrive, you just come in the front, and you go to the garage, and then you get the rat poison. With the rat poison, you poison her drink when nobody's looking. She drinks that, runs to the bathroom, and dies. That gets you the ring. You then take this ladder I've just taken up to the first floor. You can finish him off there hiding in the bathroom until he arrives, and then take the elevator straight down to the basement. Then it gets tricky, but you might, with perfect timing, be able to actually use the fuse box to draw the guy off long enough for you to loop around. So yeah, I think the fuse box was was here. 
you might instead actually have to wait for the moment where he's talking to this prisoner, because he stands here and faces towards this prisoner. So break the box then, and then run around the outside while this guy's moving. So no one's facing this way. You get in here, you grab that, and then before this guy comes back around the corner, you get back around over here. By the way, you may notice over here, there's no saves. All right, we're playing on flipping Hitman professional rules here. You're not allowed to save, not even once. But if you can just get back while this guy's looping around here, then you just loop around here, take the stairs up, take the stairs to the second, open the window that's, yeah, here, and then just basically run straight out the front door. And of course, you got in the first place by using the actual, uh, yeah, by using the invite that's over on the opposite house. That's doable, isn't it? That's presumably doable. <laughs> okay, no, screw it, I need to do this. I need to check if this can be done. All right, begin. Go get party invite. We need to walk through the front door. Right, grab the invite and then straight back out again. Nobody's dead, nobody saw me. In, out, no trouble at all. Now, I am curious whether the codes are shuffled or whether they're fixed. I'm actually just going to go and check that first up. So, I'm allowed in. No problem at all. I've got the Hello, invite. Man. Hello, lads. And I'm allowed to immediately divert over in this direction too. So, the code would be 824 if it doesn't get shuffled. Though, honestly, it feels like it kind of ought to be shuffled, but we'll see. No, the codes are fixed. So, if I wanted to, yeah, once you know the code, you can just go in here. Feels a little bit cheating, to be honest. It feels like that kind of ought to be, you know, shuffled, but whatever. Right. Ignore that. We're not doing that, okay? I'm doing this in my leather jacket. Screw disguises. True hitmen do not require disguises. Suit only, all zeros. Let's go. So, I can just walk in the front door. Uh, anyone is allowed in the front door. Then I just head over into... Excuse me, would you mind not being in here? This is like the one place I need you to not hey, be. Man, yeah, okay? I'm just checking out the garage. Yeah, it's a nice car, isn't it? Uh, I'll be having this rat poison, by the way. So grab rat poison. Boom. Next up, just go and poison her glass when nobody's looking. No problem at all. So use the mini map for this. Wait for everyone to be looking away. There we go. No one sees that. Spot on. Wait for Catherine to drink the wine. Actually, you know what? I can just wait for her in the bathroom. Because I think she's not actually going to die unless I finish her off. So tragically, I need to actually wait for her to be in the bathroom. All right. Burn for them down nice and simple. I'm slim my leather jacket. All very manageable. Help myself some ammo too. Now, slight problem. If I go through the security cameras, there is a bit of an issue. Which is there are plenty of cameras down in the basement. Including, most worryingly, that one. So I'm 100% going to get spotted by that camera. Even if I do successfully manage to pull off what seems to be the maybe impossible timing of the business with the actual fuse box, that camera's going to see me unless I take out the cameras. Now, the security office is over on the far side upstairs. The only possible way would be... Okay, no... I can do this, actually. It's this room over here with multiple guards at the door. But, 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 I'm determined to make this work. So go down to the basement and then just go straight back up again. Okay, so we go back round to here and this time we step outside onto the window. So we just take a stroll out of here. And now we should be, oh, we're technically still in a... In a secret area. So hopefully no one actually uh, sees me around here. So what I need to do now is yeah, crack open this. In we go. This is still a secret area. But I might be far enough away now that people don't see me. So go over to the map. Yeah, here's the thing. This guard's over here. Those two guards are downstairs. It kind of depends how good their vision is in terms of how well they're capable of seeing up. If they can, they might see me. Where are you going right now? If you'd like to just nip downstairs, that'd just be spot on. What's your next destination? Yeah, you're going downstairs now. Good. And officially, he's now on the first floor. So, my plan now is, if I can get away with this, is just to walk straight over to here. Okay, into this here bedroom. And then close the door behind me, obviously. Now, this gets me... It's just, there's nothing in there. I didn't really explore in here properly earlier. This gets me out onto a balcony. Now, the balcony, the question is, does anyone see me on the balcony? Can anyone see me from down there who's going to cause a fuss? 
Because if they don't, I might just be able to now step into the back of the security... Oh, I thought there was a door there. Wasn't there a door there? I thought there was a door that went outside from... No, boo. This door, sadly, doesn't open. Right. How the heck am I going to get to this room without an outfit in that case? Because I'm... Ah, maybe it's not possible. Maybe it's not possible. If this actually were a door, I was hoping I could just literally sneak up the back of them to get to that their security thing. But this way, how would I do it? I don't know. Oh, maybe it can't be done. Boo. Right, okay. I'm just going to see what happens if you just get actually caught by the security camera regardless. So yeah, just uh, follow this guy out of here. That's fine. Now retrace my steps back to where I was down in the basement. Oh, flip. Someone caught me in. The oh, no. No. They saw me through the window. Oh, blimey. You go down to like one shot as well. Okay. I'm not sure that can be done suit only, tragically. But I gave it my best shot. Maybe it is doable, I'm not sure. Now, unfortunately, the third level is, um... A little bit tricky to, to put on YouTube, actually. Quite, quite tricky. You may, you may guess that, obviously, there's... There's a lot of explicit drug taking going on in this level. You just, you just can't put... Also, boobs. There, there are some boobs. In fact, I can't actually even step inside the lobby and look at the posters on the walls without the hedgehogs. Just literally hanging on the wall in the reception. That's nipples. And sadly, due to arbitrary and fairly nonsensical lines drawn in the sand by society and the arbiters of decency, we can't have those on YouTube. Neither can we have the strip room, or like the other strip room, or the VIP strip room, or basically there's, there's a lot of stripping going on in this area. So instead I think we're gonna have to leave things off here, but this is the Slater and I'm impressed. I'm actually very impressed, okay, it's blatantly said, okay, Hitman 2, but some of the nice bits from Hitman Blood Money, indeed the more recent Hitman as well, let's just blend them together. Yeah, it's a nice little thing, I like it, and I like the fact there's two layers to it, like you can complete the mission and that's absolutely fine, but then there's also, okay, now can you complete the mission, you know, without actually killing anyone aside from your targets, and then okay, you can do that, but can you do it without ever actually using any form of disguise whatsoever, and ooh. I like it. So, if you feel like you've been missing a bit of old school Hitman in your life, might well be worth a look. I'll put a link in the description below to this. Yeah, I have been very pleasantly surprised about this one. I hadn't really heard much about this. It kind of came out of nowhere for me. But I always like being pleasantly surprised by a game. Long may it continue. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been The Slater. Thank you very much. And goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.